The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have kicked off their tour down under with some surprise news. Last night, just hours after arriving in Sydney, it was announced that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are expecting their first child. It added even more interest to their first official royal tour and resulted in a flood of stuffed koalas and kangaroos on the streets of Sydney. Elizabeth Brown has more. was clapping and cheers as fans stood ten deep outside the Sydney Opera House for the Duke and Duchess's first official walkabout of their 16-day South Pacific tour. Some had arrived before dawn to get a good spot. One fan said she was very excited by their baby news. Oh, they're just an amazing couple. They're just a couple of goals, aren't they? And Meghan Markle's just beautiful. We just can't wait to see what she's wearing today and hopefully see the little bump. Earlier, the couple embarking on their first official day of their tour met with the Governor-General, Peter Cosgrove, and were given their first baby gifts, a stuffed kangaroo and a pair of baby Ugg boots. The Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, said it was special that Harry and Meghan had shared the news about their baby in Australia. Well, let me uh, get the pleasantries, deal with those first. Uh, congratulations to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Uh, it's tremendous news yesterday, overnight, and uh, obviously we'll be looking forward to celebrate that good news while they're enjoying their stay here in Australia. Uh, there'll be neighbours of Jenny and I for the next week or so, and, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure we'll take the opportunity to congratulate them both in person. It was then on to Taronga Zoo, where Meghan Markle cut the ribbon to open its new Institute of Science and Learning. Prince Harry paid tribute to the work undertaken by zoo staff to create the institute. Absolutely amazing. I think you, you summed it up perfectly. Zoos in the 21st century, they have to uh, modernise with, with everything else that's going on at the moment. So Taronga Zoo seems to be leading the way. One of the most excited people today is Sydney fashion designer Karen G. The Duchess stepped out for the first glimpse of her baby bump in one of her dresses and soon caused the company's website to crash. I'm absolutely touched, I'm honoured, I'm, it's just uh, quite surreal and um, you know for Megan to choose Karen G to wear on her first day is just super super exciting. <laughs> Back in Britain, betting agencies are already giving odds on names for the new royal baby, who will be seventh in line to the throne. Royal commentator Victoria Murphy says whether the baby receives a royal title is up to the Queen. We understand with this baby um, that it won't be a prince or a princess because he or she will be too low down the line of succession and Harry is not the eldest son of the Prince of Wales. However, um, we understand that baby, if it's a boy, will be an earl and if it's a girl, will be a lady. But titles are at the discretion of the Queen, so the Queen can step in and make this, this baby an HRH and make it a prince or princess. The couple are due in New Zealand on October 28th. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says she'll be passing on New Zealand's congratulations to the couple in person while they're here. And she says she may even give Meghan Markle a practice baby-holding run. There may be an opportunity at some point for, for Neve to be, to be around. Um, I haven't got any set plans there, but um, yeah, she does tend to trail us a bit, so I'm sure that opportunity will arise. Perhaps I'll pass her over to Meghan for a bit. <laughs> Tonight, the royal couple are due to attend a reception at Admiralty House where they'll meet charity and business leaders. For Checkpoint, call Elizabeth Brown, TNA.